big audience here, all very expectant, all waiting for the glass blowing show to kick off. Should be good. Mike, the man with the glass blowing skills. We've seen some pretty incredible things being made. Now, how did you get into glass blowing? When did you first realise that you were the type of guy that could blow into a glass tube and make incredible shapes? I did one of those tests where they they sort of see whether you're artistic. They basically told me that um, you're the sort of guy who likes science but yeah. likes art, and uh, this is the job that rolled the whole lot into one. Perfect. So it's like a, it's a perfect job for you, an artistic science job. Yeah. So glass. It's it's glass, right? Is it made of glass? Well, it's it's actually uh, it's sand, pretty much. Really? Um, some glasses are ninety nine percent sand. The glass we use is about eighty percent sand. Okay. Uh, it's got a few other chemicals in it to make the sand run together, yeah. and their fluxes to make it melt. Okay. Um, so um, basically, you can recycle it. Um, crush it all up and reuse it again. Okay, now you're using quite a hot little wee yeah. Bunsen burner there. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of temperatures do you get up to with um, that thing? Well the flame, the flame's about two and a half thousand centigrade. Wow. Um, but you can see the glass doesn't transfer the heat. Mm -hmm. But um, the actual glass when it's working is probably about 1200 degrees when it's uh, fluid. Now tell me, what is the science behind the glass blowing? We have to fabricate containers for the experiments for the research that's going on. And why is glass so perfect for that? The perfect reason is that you can see through it. Glass is not affected by chemicals very much, so you can put all sorts of um, pretty crazy solutions in there, cool. and it's not going to dissolve it. Wash them out and you're done. Wash them out and you're done, yeah. Now tell us some of these shapes are pretty incredible. How long have you been making these specific shapes? Um, a lot of this stuff is not particularly scientific, mm -hmm. but it's designed um, to show the kids what, we, what you can do, and reasonably quickly. Um, so the swan's a good shape for that because it's got a big blown bulb and a mm -hmm. long skinny neck and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, you can see the steam engine, which is actually, you know, that's science at work, that's um, just running on compressed air. Um, and some people actually find art, scientific shapes very artistic. Yeah.